Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in the last couple of lessons we've been learning how to name different molecules. Now we're just going to practice. So I'm going to throw all the different types at you and let's see how you do. Okay, so here's the first one. So with this one what we can see is that we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different carbons. So that's none from the table. And then this is simply an alkane. So that's just going to be nonane. For this one we've got four carbons in the main chain. And so that's going to be a butte, sorry. And then we've got, for the homologist, we know that this is an alkene because there's a double bond. Now that alkene takes place on carbon number one. So we can say but one ene. With this one, we can spot an OH. And so that could be an alcohol. We must just make sure that there's no double bond oxygens, which in this case there isn't. And so this is an alcohol with one, two, three carbon. So that's prop. And then on carbon number one, we've got the alcohol part, so that becomes, oh, and then I must add propan. Whoops. So propan one O. Oh. So a lot of the ones that we looked at towards the end always have this an at the end of it. Whereas with the alkene that we just looked at previously, that one doesn't. For example, we're not going to say butan one en. You're just going to say but one en. With this one, we've got a carbon double bond oxygen on the side, it's at the very end, so that's an aldehyde. So we've got three carbons, so that's prop, but then we're going to say propan, and then for an aldehyde, you just end it with al. Now that's pretty cool because check this out in the word aldehyde, you've got the al. In this one, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six carbons, so that's hex. Then we see we've got this F over here, so it's a haloalkane. Now remember, a haloalkane just ends with ane. And then on carbon number two, we've got the attachment. So that's going to be 2-fluorohexane. Notice I don't put a line between these two because you only put a line between a name and a number. So 2-fluorohexane. Here we have a carboxylic acid because it's got the C double bond O with an OH. And so we've got one, two, three carbon. So that's prop. And then for carboxylic acids, you do add the AN, and then you just say uic acid. You don't have to tell them on which carbon we found this because it will always be at the end. So you're not going to say propan one uic. That doesn't work. You just do it like this. With this molecule, we've got this random oxygen as part of the main chain. So that's an ester. Now remember, an ester is composed of an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. The carboxylic acid is this part, and the alcohol is this part. We always start with the alcohol first, which has two carbons, so that's eth. And then the carboxylic acid also has two carbons, so that's eth again. We then add yl over there, and then for this one, we add anoate. So it's ethyl ethanoate. That is the name of that ester. With this one, we have a carbon double bond oxygen taking place between two ket I mean two carbons. And so this is a ketone. It's a ketone that has four carbons, so that's BUT. And then for a ketone, you do have to add the AN, and then you add the word one. Oh, but I must say where it is. Whoopsie. So then it's butan, and then that's on carbon number two, and then you say one. Butan 2, 1. So here we've got a 4 carbon molecule, so that's always going to be BUT. Then we see it's a triple bond, and that triple bond is happening on carbon number 2. So then we just go 2, Y, N, E. So you notice that with your alkene and alkyne, we don't add an AN over here. But for most of the others, we do. So you should be picking that up and just making sure you understand that. And so here we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon molecule. So that's pent. We then see it's got an OH. And so that's an alcohol. So we know that an alcohol does have to have the AN. It also ends in ol. And the OH is on carbon number 1, 2. So we do that. Pentan 2, ol. And so guys, that's the end of this lesson. I hope by now you guys are getting becoming more comfortable with the naming. Thank you for watching.